dear mother, I write to you from the confines of captivity. My jailer has thrown me in the deepest of dungeons where I fear I may not last through the night. The darkness is deeper than death itself. Steve, it is one in the morning. Quit being so dramatic. Go back to bed. Dear mother, my captor has begun her toilsome regimen. She has found my labor to suit her brutal needs. I am not but a slave in her eyes, mere dust in her presence. May God have mercy on me. Steve, all I asked was for you to take the trash out. Was that too much to ask? No, let me answer that. It wasn't. Four score and seven years ago was the last time I saw food fit for my palate. <laughs> Nay, I have failed to see any morsels fit for human consumption for that matter. My captor refuses any and all request for sustenance that suit my needs. Now listen to me, buddy. I've told you twice, three times now. We are not having pizza for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay? Since when did you stop liking my cooking anyways, huh? You want to hurt your mother? That's how you do it. Dear mother, I appear to have finally found a weakness in my prison warden's armor. She appears to struggle with mathematics. Though I have yet to find a way to use this information to my advantage, I most certainly will in time. Steve, these problems are ridiculous. I. John buys 75 watermelons for Lucy. How old does that make Susan? I don't know. I'm not a math teacher, okay? I haven't been in math class since George Bush was president. That was junior. And it was his second term. Um, I'm 32. Dear mother, Today, my captivity has hit rock bottom. My only lifeline, the last sliver of light in this otherwise dark existence was confiscated without remorse. The lone bird I could hear through the bars of my cell has stopped its hope-giving song. I fear its absence will finally drive me over insanity's cliff. <laughs> why? <laughs> oh, why? Steve. You're not getting the phone back. Sorry. No, you know what? I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Your eyes are gonna melt to the screen. And then who's gonna be crying? Not gonna be me. Not gonna be me. You know what? I ought to put your name on a church prayer request list and then finally maybe people will understand what I'm going through around here. Dear Mother, I write to you for I am very near the end of my rope. I have been framed by sinister forces who wish me ill. My only comfort is that God Almighty may one day vindicate me. Steve, all I'm asking for you is to take care of your own dishes. Yes, they are yours. Nobody else sits around and eats a whole box of breadsticks on their own. You think I'm raising a pack of howler monkeys around here? Steve! Dear Mother, so, <laughs> the other inmates have found cause to stir the jealous wrath against me. It's all unfounded, of course, but they have my captor's ears wrapped around their smarmy little fingers. Mark my words, I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Steve, did you smack your sister upside the head for insubordination, huh? Yeah, I thought so. And what's with telling your brother that he's destined for H-E double hockey sticks if he doesn't repent? He's four years old. Huh? He's four. Quit it. Dear Mother, this may be my last entry. My sentence is almost served. I may have been mistaken regarding my Jella, for I'm beginning to see her human side despite its small share. God only knows how somehow my affections have grown for her throughout my captivity. It's almost as if I will come to miss all this when my time served here is over. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. What is this? Another one of your letters? Huh? 
Okay. Stevie, you're about to make your mom cry. That is so sweet. Now take the trash out. <laughs>